Hello, everyone. We are Group One, and we are going to present to you our business program, SkinScan. Next, please. According to the research, the Chinese cosmetics market has been growing continuously and it reached 157.6 billion yuan in 2020. The whole industry is upgrading in the following three parts from the demand side. The first part is more complicated process. With the increasing usage of cosmetics products, consumer awareness has been improved and cosmetics experience has been accumulated. People are more conscious of the increasing steps for makeup. Besides, their needs for cosmetics is upgrading too, from most basic ones into more advanced ones. The second part is more diversified products. There are more and more brands popping up, leading to more competitions in the industry. They are innovating in product categories, especially widening pro portfolios in the same subcategory with different functions, aiming at different customers according to various skin type, climate, seeing, etc. The third part is more um, cosmetics demand. There's a huge space for potential customers to grow, especially males who are more open to these kind of cultures and Generation Z who are highly educated. Besides, those already existed customers mainly would stay in the market since it is hard to get rid of cosmetics once they have been used. Therefore, more customers are entering the cosmetics market, which needs a large number of both professional and personalized in the instructions. Next. As for user persona, urban women, Z generation, constituent group, and male novelty seeker are the four typical users. Firstly, urban women are 25 to 33 years old consumers living in tier one cities. Their income is more than 10,000 RMB per month. These users tend to showcase their personalized taste and individualized pursuits through purchasing. The Z generation is the second user personal, aged 16 to 27. Research has shown that 95% of these group buy cosmetics or skincare products in the past one year, indicating a high penetration rate. Their average spending on cosmetics per year is over 3,000 RMB. These users start to purchase cosmetics but lack sufficient knowledge. The third user is the constituent group, aged 25 to 35, living in tier one and tier two cities. They are concerned about the constituent and show great interest in studying the technology and the knowledge. Lastly, we witness increasingly more male consumers driving the growth of cosmetics. They are 18 to 34 years old and living in tier one and tier two cities. They pay great attention to their appearance, like to try innovative things, and are curious about the makeup. Next. In the traditional world, um, the demand and supply side usually operate on their own and rely on retailer to match each side without broad knowledge on the usage of each cosmetics. The searching cost is very high. In this mode, customer went to the cosmetics stores to select the products on their own without too much knowledge of suitable product match. In this way, customer bear huge searching costs. A retailer responsible for display and selling the products to the customer and acting as the intermediary of sales matching while cannot precisely identify customer's needs. And the suppliers responsible for manufacturing and also operate their own brand while it is very hard for them to approach customer quickly and directly. However, in this modern mode, we can use online AI platform to precisely gather product information and components from suppliers. And also um, the suppliers can identify customer skin um, condition and the preference for cosmetics and input them into online uh, uh, systems. In this way, we can reduce searching costs and realize the precise marketing. Next. For our group's problem, we aim to utilize AI technology to help consumers with different skin conditions to select the most suitable cosmetics. The background of the project is that in the past, it was more like one product for more consumers. However, in recent years, we can observe that consumers begin to pursue more customized products, which may suit them better. More importantly, to showcase the personalization and individualization through diversified cosmetics. The main problem or the challenge is to match the most suitable products and consumers. 
Therefore, we come up with a program that can help examine consumer skin conditions as the input and automatically recommend suitable products. So here shows the breakdown for our project. The application will collect critical information of skin tone, voice and oil, uh, smoothness and pigmentation for further analysis, and customer's name, age, and phone number for building database and reaching customers. The specific product foundation in Sephora will be recommended according to the data acquired. Next. Here are the more detailed breakdowns for the criteria I mentioned before. Skin tone is basically divided into black, yellow, and white. Next. Moist and oil is divided into different skin conditions, including dry, oily, mixed, neutral, and sensitive. Next. Smoothness is divided by whether there is acne and pore on the face. And next, the last pigmentation is scaled from low to high. Next. Uh, as for IPO, the user will need to input skin condition information first. In order to get a user's data, the user is required to take a photo using his or her front-facing camera. Secondly, with the end of gathering data regarding skin sensitivity, the user should answer 10 multiple choice questions. After collecting the data, the automatic cosmetic matching system will process it and then generate a personalized skin condition report. At the end of the report, the system will give recommendations about the most suitable cosmetic products. Besides, regarding the storage part, the system will keep three kinds of information. First of all, every cosmetics information, such as price, place of origin, or efficacy. Second, the composition list of each product, uh, which can better match the most suitable product for the user. Third, the consumer data will also be stored. Next. And here's our flow chart. After collecting the skin condition information from the camera, the identification process of different skin conditions are running in parallel. Then, based on the results of the identification, personalized recommendations of different uh, cosmetics will be provided to the users. And the final results will be stored and uploaded to our database. Next. In terms of machine learning, Supervised and reinforcement are used to train the model with labeled data of different skin conditions and enable it to continuously improve through trial and error. Besides, classification, k-nearest labor, and decision tree jointly help the model to classify the skin conditions into different categories. And finally, computer vision enables the program to scan the user's facial inf information as the input. As for the data flow, the skin condition information will come from the customer skin and the detection devices to the automated cosmetic matching system. And uh, it will also responsible for storing and retrieving da data from the dataverse. And the, the cosmetic brands and retailer can um, review the results and also um, have the data given from the automated cosmetic ma matching system and, and uh, realize the whole uh, information flow next. And uh, the machine can learn from the skin condition information and also the composition of the cosmetics and the cosmetics recommendation criteria and uh, give the automated um, cosmetics matching and recommendation in the intelligent um, programming process. Next. So in order to present our business idea in a more visual way, our team made a prototype to explain the whole process. Firstly, the user needs to take a photo using his or her front facing camera. If he or she is not satisfied with the photo, she can uh, press the shot again button. If the photo is already good enough, uh, he or she can go to next step. Secondly, the user should answer 10 multiple choice questions regarding skin sensitivity. Certainly, the system will automatically generate a skin condition report within 10 seconds. In the report, the user can view uh, the overall score 
the status of different criteria and a short summary. Lastly, when the user scroll down to the bottom, the system will give recommendations about the most suitable cosmetics product based on the report. Many details about the products are presented. The user can also view others' comments to decide whether to purchase this product or not. Thanks. Uh, next. Finally, for the Power Platform selection, we mainly choose Power Apps and Power BI to complete the task. Power Apps is used in UI design and data storage. We can transfer our paper prototype to low-code solution and then have a quick demonstration as well as testing. As we can choose to create the app based on cloud database, the data collected can be uploaded and stored on the cloud in real time. Also, the data is arranged into sorts for further procedures. Power BI is used to process and visualize the data we collected. After cleaning and filtering the skin condition data collected from Power Apps, we can provide visualized charts and diagrams in the form of dashboard to the users and to have a visual presentation of the data. One thing worth mentioning is that the data flows smoothly between the two apps so that we can save a lot of time in data transformation. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you.